Hello blessed people, welcome back and welcome to those who are first time here. As you can see in the title, we are making a pattern for a wide leg trouser this time. So without further ado, let's go right into it. To make it a wide leg, I added 6 inches on my normal hip measurement. To get your crotch depth, sit straight in a flat chair and measure from waistline down to the chair. From the waistline, mark down 1.5 inch. The 1.5 inch is the width that I prefer for my waistband. Connect the end point of the crotch line to the 45 degree mark that we just made to the end point of the hip line and draw a slight curve. Now mark your waist measurement plus 4 inches for the pleats. I usually add my seam allowance when I am cutting my fabric but for the sake of this tutorial, I added 1 half inch of seam allowance on the pattern and 1 inch on the hemline. To make the pattern for the fly facing, extend the waistline and the hip line.
Now moving on to the back leg, we are going to start the same way as we started on the front leg. The back waist is usually higher than the front to give space for the butt area. Now draw down your waistline, so divide your waist circumference into 4 plus an inch or 2 for the darts. It's all up to you how much you want for that and you now have your new waistline. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Come back again on the making of these pants. Bye!